So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video we have seen a project, we have created a project hangman game, right? So from the, this video I am going to start a new topic that is functions in Python, <coughs> right? In this, video, uh, in this video we will be discussing basic about function, what is a function, why basically we need a function, this answer to this question is very important, why functions? What are the benefits of using function? How to define a function? What are different types of function? Right? With the help of real life example, I'll tell you what is function and with the help of program also, practical also, I'll show you and I will introduce you with a new tool also in this video. After using that tool, you will be, you know, you know, uh, very friendly, you can say with functions. Right? It would be very easy for you guys. Maybe someone of you are aware about functions, they have learned other languages, C, C++ or Java. But let's start this with a real life example. Suppose I know, I know a recipe, I know how to make idli, one of my favorite from South Indian food actually. And suppose one Sunday my friend came to me, uh, came to visit me and I made idli for them. And she was like, oh wow, idli like, they, they are so delicious and amazing, so she asked me the recipe for that idli and I told her like like this even <laughs> to be very frank I don't know what is the recipe but let's check let's assume I know so suppose there are these five or six or seven steps one two three four five six seven steps in the recipe so I told her these seven steps right maybe uh, on next day or on uh, another friend came to me and she also asked me for the same recipe because I made idli again because in this I am expert you can say. So I told her the same recipe like this. Maybe every Sunday or every after two to three days someone is coming to me and I am telling them the recipe. I am repeating these seven steps again and again I am telling them the recipe right. So what I can do rather than this what I can do now I am feeling very frustrated after telling the recipe again and again and again. So what I can do, I can just write down this recipe on a paper, right? And like R-E-C-I-P-E, -E, recipe of idli, you can say making idli, right? And whenever anyone comes to me and asks for the recipe, I just hand over this piece of paper to them, right? So yeah, it is going to say what? What is the benefit? My energy and my time, right? I have just grouped these steps in us, so you can say an entity, this is an entity on a paper and I will just hand over that paper to whoever is going to ask me the recipe, about the recipe, right. So yeah, this is beneficial for me, right. Same, we have some function like uh, in programming also we have to do something like some task again and again, right. Suppose let's take one example and see if you take one more example like we human being also we are performing different different functionality we are multitasker like let's take a female as a mother as a wife as a daughter as a working woman and many functionalities are there right so different different functionalities are there for the same entity for the same person right means like if uh, you are in front of your student you are working you are you know, uh, you know, your responsibilities work, uh, you know, acting as a teacher, right? If you are in front of your children, then your responsibility means your functionality is you're working as a mother, something like this. So whatever is in front of you, according to that, you have to perform your task, right? For different, different inputs, you are performing your specific task, right? So like this example also, you can relate with the functions. Let's take uh, this example, if in programming also uh, like uh, two lines, there are two lines, simplest example I am taking like print hi and, and like Jenny and good morning, like this. I want to print these two lines again and again in my program, like perform some specific task, then execute these lines, then perform some specific task, then again I want to perform I want to uh, you know greet like I want to uh, print hi Jenny good morning then again perform some specific task in the same program S again I want to perform these two lines perform some specific task again I want to greet like hi Jenny good morning right 
in program maybe 50 times so 50 times you need to write down these two lines so rather than this what we can do rather than repeating the two lines again and again what we can do the same thing just wrap up this thing here like print these two lines print then Jenny and good morning these two lines here right and just call it what I am calling this a recipe right so it's like you can say a function name so let's call this thing what uh, a function name greet and whenever you want to execute the these two lines then just call this function greet 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 so rather than writing these two lines again and again just have to write down simple function name greet that's it right now i'll tell you how to define a function how to call the function there are two major steps basically first of all you have to define a function then you have to call the function right so now i hope you got it what is basically a function function is just what a block of statements or block of code this is just a block of code this is just a block of code or statement these are statements right which perform some specific task when it is called it is going to perform those tasks only when you are going to call that function these lines are very important so when it is called so function is a group of you can say it's, or you can say block of statements or block of code which is going to perform a specific task which perform a specific task when it is called that is function definition very simple right now how to define a function let me tell you two steps i have told you first define a function then call the function right so how to define a function simple what is the syntax you will write down this def keyword def then here you will write down your function name any name you can take like add subtract greet any function name display anything these parentheses then colon or in these parentheses if you want to pass you can pass parameters right then here we have here we have function body or oh, let me just write down this thing here we have function body and after that we have like return return statement return keyword and then some expression or whatever you want to return so this is what the complete one it is not necessary to pass parameter every time it is not necessary that every function is going to return something so this line is optional this one these parameters are optional but the mandatory part is to define a function def keyword function name these parentheses maybe these are empty this colon and then function body right these are important these are you can say mandatory part if you are going to define a function parameters return expression these are optional part right and this 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 should be indented right see i have there are some space at the beginning of these two lines so these should be indented otherwise it will give error right so this is you are going to define a function how to call the function then just write down the function name whatever the function name and these parentheses if if you have passed some parameter if you have used some parameter when you are defining a function then you have to pass those parameters here one two three or how many parameters you have if there are no parameters just function name and these parentheses this is what you are going to call the function right now and function will only work when you are going to call that function only definition of this function this is not going to work you have to call that function right like me as a teacher so whenever I am in front of my student, right, in front of my class, then only I will act as a teacher. Means at that time students are calling me, you can say they are calling me. So at that time only I will work as a teacher, right. So you have to call that function, right. Now there are two types of function, built-in function plus user defined function. So built-in functions are, so built-in functions are already defined in Python, already pre-coded or already defined right you don't need to, have, need to write down any code to define those functions. you can only use the, you can directly use that those functions like simplest one is print in every program we use this function this is already defined in python so you just have to use that function just print 
in these parentheses whatever you want to print that you can pass here we pass that parameter the argument right built in like print we have len function we have used this is also built in max min and type also we have used right so many functions are there you can also write down few built in function in comment section now next is user defined function user defined means you have to define user will define those functions as per our need like whatever you want like i want to define a function of addition of two number so according to my need i'll define a function the statement the code i'll write according to myself right and how to define that i have told you how to call that i have told you right now let's see this thing with the help of example and i'll introduce you with a new tool also then you will get it better what function is and why we use it and now the uh, the, the benefits or advantage of using function is what i guess now you got it what can be the uh, benefits of using the function definitely your code becomes more reusable rather than writing these two lines again and again in the program just call the function so it means we are reusing the, these two lines so code reusability will increase the code would be more readable right because obviously if you call a function if you use functions then the number of lines in your code will also is going to decrease will be less and if less line of, line, lines of code then your code would be more you can say readable right so these are few you can say uh, and it will be time saving also right just define one time and use reuse those thing again and again so it would be time saving for you right let me just show you this thing with the help of practical we'll see a program on functions okay so let's create a new file here for functions and uh, functions like uh, intro.py right and let's define a function def how to define def let's take a function suppose greet right colon and here it should be indented and there i just want to print hi in one line and suppose here i want to print only gen these two lines so now this is definition of the function we are not passing any parameter because these are optional we are not returning anything here right so now here what we can do how to execute this function if i run this code see suppose we have defined a function and let let's run this code see it is not printing anything the screen is blank right why so because to execute the function <coughs> i told you in the definition the function is a statement or block of statement block of code perform which performs some specific task when it is called so you have to call the function how to call the function just name of the function greet that's it this is calling of function now let's run this and this time it will print hygiene so if you want to print this multiple time so again i want to call greet again like greet three times so these two lines would be printed three times in your program uh, in the output see hi jenny hi jenny hi jenny right so this is how the function will work now let me just introduce you with a new uh, like tool we have rebox world our website is there okay for that you can directly search for like python code in rebox world so first we'll take this example this is the second link alone world info python blocky this keep editor visible right let's run this and uh, this is going to load right so here this type of thing would be opened here the project name is c alone right okay now see the python code here we can write down python code so see here we have some functions uh, like when you click on this rebox keyboard then you will get some function like you can say command move turn left take put these kind of commands you can give these commands to this robot and it will perform according to your given command so here i have written one command like move here we have one command move move means it will move further one step only so how to run this there's a play button right here just click on that and see it has moved one step ahead so last instruction completed so if you want to move this three steps or two steps then just use this function again move 
or maybe three times move and now if you want to go back here just click on this just go back this one and just click on the play so see it has moved three steps the robot so last in instruction completed right so here we can write down our python code of those we haven't written till now we are still we are using those uh, you know inbuilt function only we have we haven't defined our own function till now but we'll, we are going to define right now if one by one if you want to execute the instruction suppose first instruction instruction first and second and third so you have to click on this one step through button step click one then see it is going to show this one line would be executed move see like this again move again click move three line would be executed and that's it last instruction completed so let's back here and okay turn left there is one function use this turn left just click on that and it would be here turn left or rather than first turn left first we move this robot like three times and then we use the function turn left not at the starting so if i run this code here so three step then turn left see turn left the robot has turned left this way it is going then turn left this side and again if i after turn left if i use the move function again three times and if i run this again see now this would be executed move first three times turn left and move again three times right but there is no see there is no turn around or turn right function here right only turn left is there now if you want to here command the robot to turn right then how you will give that thing so define your own function turn right function at this point of time if i want to give the command to this robot turn right then how will you now you have to define your own function now pause the video and define your own function okay how we are going to define def keyword function name i am taking turn right parenthesis colon and now the definition it should be indented right now turn right means simply at this point of time if this robot we give this robot three times turn left command then it would be automatically at the last ultimately turn right command would be executed so three times turn left so now this is a turn right function now now if i call that this function here turn right and suppose again move one step move and if i run this let me just stop this just click on this reload button and play like this right turn right and then one move but we have defined our own function suppose if you want to execute this if you want to command command this uh, you know uh, robot something like this okay the same thing then it has to move downward three step right again and then simply the face would be in this in this direction only this direction forward direction only right so how we are going to give this 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 command see now at this point of time also for going downward you have to give the command obviously turn right like this we are facing then at this point of time means turn right right and if suppose you haven't defined this function then for turn right you have to write down this turn left three times so here rather than turn right you have to write down these three times then again move then again turn right so again write down these three commands turn left command here like three times here there should be no indentation right 
na three times move right and then finally turn left right this would be the case if we are not using the function turn right we haven't defined the function so let's stop this and now let's run this here we go so now you are repeating these turn left and turn turn left these three lines again and again whenever you want to give the command to the robot turn right then three times you have to write down turn left again and again so better to define a function so that's exactly we have done just define a function turn right and rather than these three lines just use one line turn right that's it rather than these three lines turn right just one line so yeah this is going to reduce the number of lines in your code when you are using function code re reusability will, will increase and as well as code readability will also increase right this is also going to perform the same task one by one we are going to run this now this step through option let's run this once click then again click then this move command would be executed then second move again run again turn left again 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 click on that now see cursor is here at this function turn right now click on the step function now cursor would be here in the definition of this function so first turn left again second turn left again third turn left would be performed now that's it now we are here turning we have turned right this robot then move then again turn right then again function would be called see the cursor is again the control is again here within the function then three times turn left and then move then this move then this then again turn left and that's it right so this is beauty of function you can say now one exercise for you is turn around there is no function turn around here so you have to define your own function how to turn around let's suppose move this robot three times here three times forward then turn around then three times backward the same position how you will define your turn around function pause the video and try this out okay i hope you have done this how to define turn I think this is very simple. If you have done the turn left, turn around is very simple. Just two times turn left, and that's it. This would be turn around. Two times turn uh, turn left only, right? So let's here we will do that thing. After turning left at the final time, then we will call turn around function, and then again. move right let's run this and see what output you will get see turn around and then back one step so this is what we can define our own function turn around turn right function so i hope you got the basics of functions why we need functions use of function benefit of function and all now in the next video we'll see one more coding exercise on function now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care